Hi, everyone. Uh, I'll just get started before the slides. I'm Chris Hansen. I'm CEO of Aromix. Aromix is um, a Stanford Stardex and J Labs accelerated pre Series A company in Palo Alto. And we are um, uh, building a revolutionary and proprietary sensing and AI platform to measure <clears throat> uh, the data that comes from the human nose and the human tongue. We're essentially measuring for the first time the signals that come from your nose and tongue. Those signals eventually go up to your brain. They can become perceptions of taste, of smell, of fullness, of hunger, uh, but also fear, calmness, uh, anxiety. So in the past, we've applied technology. Back in the 80s and 90s, we applied technology to vision. And we think nothing of editing a photograph or a video on a laptop. Uh, same thing with auditory. Uh, we coded that into MP3 and other formats. And, and now, uh, you know, speech recognition, you can call Comcast and kind of make your way through the voice uh, recognition menu. Um, even touch, haptics, uh, tactile, um, that information has been measured. But no one has ever even started to measure uh, taste or scent, the, the signals that the nose and tongue create. Uh, so when I say we're digitizing the other half of data, that is not on Google, that's what I mean. Google has auditory, visual, uh, some touch data. Uh, so we have invented uh, a lot of technology. We have six patents uh, in application. And we're applying this, oddly enough, to pharma. So our first two. R&D programs are with two of the largest drug companies in the world. They're a quarter million dollar each. Uh, it's to apply the sensing technology to the production of biologic drugs, things like Humira, a Tesla, that are notoriously difficult to manufacture and have very low yields. It turns out our platform is very good at increasing yields there. But We'll uh, probably focus on pharma for the next couple of years and try to own that space, and then we'll move on to other verticals. We're raising a $5.5 million series seed. Uh, we have $4.5 million in. I have a $1 million left. Uh, it's a $14 million pre-money, and uh, the lead investor that priced the round is Ulu Ventures in Palo Alto. Uh, we also have Stanford and Santa Clara as investors. Thank you very much. Chris, we actually had the pleasure of meeting at Stardex a couple years ago. Yes, and I remember I... your vision back then was very consumer product uh, orientated. Could you maybe help elaborate a little bit more on how Biopharma is using your product in manufacturing biologics? Uh, yeah, so biologics are increasingly important in uh, pharma. They're about half of all pharma sales now, and that seems to be growing. Uh, you have to grow them. They're, they're grown in live organisms in fermentation tanks. Sure, yeah. Kind of like uh, making beer. And um, the impetus for doing the, these R&D programs was that uh, the companies had very low yields. They couldn't find a solution, but they had a few experienced manufacturing hands that could sometimes smell when things were going wrong. Okay. So, thanks. Thanks. Sure. Uh, just curious, there was a electronic nose project from DARPA a few years ago. Were you any part of that, or what's going on in that regard? These We've days? been uh, parts of of uh, DARPA programs in the past. This originated at DARPA. Uh, I would just say it's not an e-nose or an i-nose or an artificial nose. It's the actual nose. It's the 402 olfactory receptors that we cloned out of human subjects and have immortalized into a little plastic biosensor about this size. 
It costs 1,200 bucks. Uh, but the, uh, the economics for biologics are really fascinating. They may have 15 uh, fermentation tanks for one drug line, use our tests three times a day, uh, 1,200 bucks a pop, and 320 manufacturing days, so it adds up rapidly.